Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Ignite with me. Uh, where today we got the Black Warrior Robusto. Okay, this is only available as the label says at RR Cigars. Okay, it's the old mansion. This is a blend specific to Tuscaloosa. The Black Warrior nameplate is, uh, is uh, something very near and dear to the people of Tuscaloosa. You know, you're going to see a lot of stuff that revolves around Warrior. Um, I've talked about Tuscaloosa, I think, before on this channel, maybe not. But he was a very large chieftain. He was noteworthy in this area. He was very feared and respected, rightly so. He's a very dangerous person to, to cross. <coughs> um, he was recorded by the Spaniards. Okay. Uh, and surprisingly for invaders, you know, people that were coming in trying to scope out the land and all that, surprisingly they had a lot of good things to say about him. Um, they were impressed kind of by his symmetry. Tuscaloosa was probably, in terms of the looks of looks department, he was probably pretty good. Okay, um, they they said he was very tall, very masculine, and very pleasing to look at, basically. Um, so you know he was not ill favored. So a very tall, very handsome man. Okay, and um, those things will get you honored in this world. Um, but yeah, so um, indeed, yeah, he, he's kind of a, you know, a local legend around here. But um, of course, there's Moundville uh, National Park down there. Uh, of course, in time to come, after his encounter with Fernando de Soto, uh, the, then the governor of Cuba, that would have been in the time of Carlos I of Spain, you know, since that time, his people, the Mabla Indians, which are a Mississippi mound building culture, they uh, they have confederated with other tribes around them, and they are now what we call the Choctaw Nation. Indeed, those are his kindred. So, kind of a brief history there, but yeah, there's uh, you know a lot of history here. We you know, take it very seriously and preserve it. Especially being the city of civil rights, you know, you take you take all that stuff with you into the future. You know, that I got a different lighter today. Let me just show you. See how powerful it is. Only so much. See that? Yeah, we need to do that. Okay. We're very far away from it to make that happen. I should go a little bit further away to be honest. That sure goes better than the Rocky. It's also going to burn through that stuff very quickly. Taking the bad end. But in the rate of smoke, see what we got. Let's give it an honest review. Sometimes, and I've said this, sometimes you may have to kind of give a small massage to get it to sort of give, but it's hard to hold the pull. It's, it's okay though, I like it. So there's nothing bad about it. Now it's been a minute since I've had that, but it's not fine. And I don't think it was actually the Robusto. Robusto. Uh, some other time. Indeed, it's got some earthy flavors here so far. I don't know why, but something kind of reminds me of something. It, the taste almost reminds me of like a cracker, like a saltine cracker. That's kind of the This is a good, a good flavor, that way. For some reason, that's left on the palate afterwards. So it's kind of interesting. So 
Yes. On me? That's pretty good. That's not bad at all. Got some spice notes in there. Got some lingering spice on the taste buds right now. Not a lot. Not a whole lot. Not every cigar is super spicy. But it is often the case that cigars have a, a very slight spice in them. There's some, like, some of them, like Coriers or things like that, they have a spice in them, usually dipped in some kind of pepper or something like that. I don't sense that that is the case here. There's a lot to be said for this. It's very well rounded. It's very well rounded, very good cigar. It's not too dark, um, or at least I don't think it is. I don't see, and my tastes, again, are not necessarily your taste. I don't think it. Person, for me. And again, I'm, I can't shake the salting crackers. I'm reminded of the brand premium. I think it's what it's called. I can't remember. I have not. <laughs> That's the right way. I'm reminded of that almost. Yeah. I don't know why. I just can't shake it. It has, it has a good aroma to it. But yeah. Let me come back. And I'll tell you my final thoughts on it, okay? See you then. Hey guys, I'm back. So my thoughts on this cigar is that it's a very memorable cigar. Very noteworthy. Actually, probably one of my new favorites, to be honest. Um, the only reason I can't stick with this one right off is because, again, this channel is about reviewing them. I think, however, that is, that is one of my favorites. And I sincerely mean that. This is a great cigar blend. Okay, my compliments to R&R &R Cigar. As I said, I'm picking up some very mild earthy tones with some spice. And I'm reminded of saltine crackers, which is good because, I mean, that's they have a good taste. So, definitely try this. You're missing out on this guy at R&R &R Cigars, alright? Guys, I hope you all have a great day and be blessed and safe, okay? Peace out.